you're wanting to follow this with a printout then you should be looking at the instructional sheet 3 while we're working. Okay we'll start off by breaking this into smaller tasks. We've got an entrance to form at this position. I'm going to zoom in a bit closer in this area. So we commence with an offset and the distance is 950. Take this line go right and pick again. Return twice, change to 100 and return. Pick, move, pick. Return twice, change the offset distance to 900, return, pick, move, pick. Final offset of 100, pick, move, pick. We now need to form lines for the ends of the wall nibs here. So return twice, change the offset distance to 600 and return. And pick this line, go upwards and pick again. I can zoom in even closer now to do the editing. What I need to do is form a gap through here. Press escape. A quick way to do this is use the break command. When using break, you probably find it easier to turn the O snaps off. A quick and easy way of making these gaps is to use the break command and it shortens to BR and return. The first click is where your gap will start, the second click where your gap will end. So there's no accuracy in this method, but it can be used with object snaps but it's a wee bit trickier so we don't need any accuracy for this so just simply return in between your breaks pick move and pick then if you use the fillet command we can tidy all this up So F for the fillet command and a simple way to do this is to work your way around the shape and leave the cursor in the same place when you when you stop the command so click one click two don't move the mouse press return click one click two return click one click two return click one click two very quick and tidy we'll do the same on the other side click one click two return okay so we we'll just repeat the same operations on the other side just using fillet pick one pick two return pick one pick two and then the final one pick one pick two so that's the entrance to that area created we've then got to get the little collection of partition walls set up just do these one at a time and then it makes it more manageable so the drawing kind of changes from kind of pristine and tidy to a bit untidy and then uh, back to tidy again okay so we'll start off with another offset and this is five five grids so that'll be 1500 distance we'll take this line go upwards and pick again two returns, change the offset distance to 100, take the newest line, go up again. Well, let's get in a bit closer. Now we need to create an end for this wall nib. So offset won't do it. Um, well, I'd tell like it would actually, but uh, we'll just create a fresh line. So L, return. Put your O snaps on so you can pull it up from the other wall end and just drag up and then select again press return to stop the command Hello. sorry for uh, the odd disruption here this afternoon uh, we'll carry on and uh, get this area tidied up now what I would do here is use firstly use fillet command to tidy up the end of the wall to so pick one pick two return, pick one, pick two. 
and then a trim TR capture my knives and return and then I can cut away the gap just there pull back a wee bit and I want to deal with the wall poking down here start off with an offset of 1950 and return pick this line go to the right and pick again follow it with an offset of 100 and return pick the line go to the right again I'll then do an escape and drag a fresh line away from this position ortho's on so I get a straight line then use fillet to clean up the end of the wall this is the bit of line I want to be left with so I'll pick that first pick one pick two return back to that same little bit of line pick one pick two now I want to create a gap at this point and then the trim command easiest for that grab the two lines to use as cutters and return and then take away the bit you want to get rid of the back wall here needs thickened to 450 millimeters it's 300 at the moment a quick way to do that to avoid unnecessary editing is to use the stretch command that shortens to the letter S and return you must grab with a crossing window we must enclose the vertices we want to change with a crossing window so we go from right to left press return base point somewhere here in the black I have ortho on set the distance sorry set the direction which is downwards and then type in a distance of 150 and return and all the lines and corners still remain joined to each other last bit on this zone is a doorway at this position start off with a 600 millimeter offset pick pick return twice change the offset distance to 900 pick pick and then a 100 millimeter offset to finish with I need to create a wall end for here and that's another offset of 1050 and return pick this line go into the space and pick again I'll zoom in on that area press escape then to do this effectively probably best to use the break command so it's BR return I've got my object snaps on here so I have to be a bit more careful first pick is easy second pick is a bit more dangerous I need to pull my cursor away from any other line and select return again pick the line move away from other objects and pick again then everything else can be done using the fillet command so it's F return pick one two return one two return this is the bit I want to end up with so I'll pick that first one two return one two two more fillets and we'll have this area tidied up return one two okay looking nice and clean and tidy now some of this stuff can be used at the bottom end of the plan so I'll set it about that height and then use the mirror command MI return I can take this wall this detail and this line and this one all of these can be used down at the bottom of the plan press return so that total of 10 objects using this midpoint I'm dragging out of the plan ortho's on I select again then press return we should have copies of those objects down at the bottom 
So we've just got a, wee, a bit more editing down here to do, and we'll have this sorted. So let's use the break command again. BR, return. This time we can save ourselves a bit of editing. Pick one, let the O snaps get the end here. Return, pick one, O snaps. Adjust these by just clicking on them. Click once, take it along, click once, take the grip along. Pressing escape gets rid of the grips and we can move on to the next little bit of editing. Okay, We need to form a doorway on this side, so it's kind of on the opposite, diagonally opposite side. I've got most of the lines here, but I don't have a line for here. So what I can do is just drag a line from this position, and I could take it to perpendicular. So right click your object snaps, go to settings, and add perpendicular. With a plan of this kind of organization, you'll find perpendicular quite useful. You see it picks up the perpendicular points. Select and return. I could extend this from grip there to perpendicular. There's so many ways of doing exactly the same job. Now I could either use break and fill it or trim. I think for here, I think I'd use break and then fill it. So BR return, pick, move, pick, return, pick, move, pick. So I took that slightly further down. So that side's tidied up already. This could be done using the grips. quite quickly. So as I say, lots of ways of doing exactly the same job. Over here, all the lines are there ready to, to chop out the doorway. So trim for this, TR return, capture the four lines that are there and return, and then pick away the lines. We've got two jobs to do. We've got a wall that comes up here and then across a bit and also a window opening. Let's do the wall first. So a couple of offsets to start off with. So O return, 2450 and return, pick, go to the side and pick again. Return twice, change it to 100 and return, pick, go to the right and pick again. Now this one's going to be a bit trickier. What we're going to do is use the line command but use the perpendicular O snap. And it's in a very careful way. We need to use the tab key on your keyboard. And this is the one that with two arrows that face opposite directions. So L return. Start here, but place your cursor up here. Tap the tab key with a few sec with half a second in between taps and you'll see it cycles through the various object snaps available to it. Eventually it gets to perpendicular and that's when you press the, the left mouse button. Try not to move the mouse. Now I want to draw perpendicular to this line. So I place my cursor over the line, tap tab until perpendicular icon appears again and select. And then I want to draw perpendicular to this line tap tab select return to stop the command and then heal that tiny little gap using the grips escape to get rid of the grips very clean and predictable we need to form a tiny gap here so trim dr return capture the lines and return and then take away the bit we don't want press escape. Now just as in the above part of the plan we need to stretch all these lines upwards by 150. So the command was stretch, that's S, return, catch the objects, return, base point, anywhere you want, with ortho on you set the direction and the distance of 150 and return. Final job is to create the window opening. So 
we'll start off with offsets so we've got 600 and return pick this line go up and pick again return twice the offset gap is now 1200 return pick this go up pick again press escape to stop offset click the line take it in using the perpendicular o snap to help you press escape then you could trim tr return capture the knives return and we chop off the bits we don't want press escape to stop the trim command double tap the mouse to do a zoom extents and that is that portion of the task finished all partitions and all gaps and main walls all done